how to get motivated, how to stay motivated. Discipline and intent. It's that simple. Clarity of intent means any time that you have a nice alignment in your thoughts, words, and actions. And actions. And actions. There are certain things that I do on a regular basis. Even if I don't particularly feel like doing them, I am disciplined to an extent that I do them regardless. Like your foot is on the gas and not on the brake. If you want to get to true greatness, you need to find a real reason, a real drive inside yourself, a real cause, a real purpose. And intent means desire. So think about that word for a second. Desire. You want to have clearly defined goals. It's very important that you actually know what it is you aspire to and you know the why, a real reason, something that truly motivates you and truly inspires you. Without that, you're not gonna have that same level of spark where you're gonna think about it or work on it when you don't have to or above and beyond. It's not gonna be forefront of your mind. I personally think of a wild tiger looking at a delicious gazelle off in the distance and how that tiger is immediately and intrinsically motivated on a deep core and fundamental level to get it. While you have your foot down on the gas, what you also have is the brake going on. If you're clearing your intent, you're not thinking of all the bad things that could go wrong. So as long as you're a promotion-oriented mindset, you're gonna tend to do well, right? Now, you're seeing the upside to doing it, and your foot is hard on the gas, not on the brake. True greatness, true mastery doesn't come from a little spurt of effort here or there. It comes from being truly dedicated and focused all the time, to the point that every little thing you see, you're relating to your field, or you're finding a way to come up with creative ways to improve. And that's intent, you feel it in your bone. Nothing on this planet is gonna stop me. If you look at the people that are most successful in sports, there are a few that will come from rich backgrounds. But a vast majority of the people who excel athletically actually come from very poor backgrounds. But the thing is, that game or that sport is all they have. If you look at basketball, look at boxing, look at soccer, and that's because they don't have any other options. Of course, they're gonna dedicate everything to it and it's gonna be their dream, it's gonna be their passion, it's gonna be the only thing they're focused on in their entire life. And that single-minded focus is what it takes to get great. So it's like this, discipline is the vehicle for your success and intent is the fuel. One will not work without the other. It's this constant process of working so hard, focusing, but without any reward for it coming, or without any immediate feedback. And that's when it's the hardest, right? When you're getting positive feedback, it's really easy to stay motivated. If you wanna apply getting a nice clarity in your intent, the best way that I know is to just start getting momentum with whatever you're doing. So you wanna be constantly challenging yourself to be striving, to be doing something new, to be doing something that pushes yourself. You wanna put yourself through that failure because it's the most real feedback you're gonna get. Over time, as you build momentum with it, you'll find that that intent starts to dominate the forefront of your mind and the other parts of your mind, the prevention parts, just sort of fall away. Bruce Lee once said, be like water. Water has no shape, it has no form without a container. But when it's focused, it can erode mountains and blast through solid rock. But without these two crucial components, you're stuck on square one. Discipline and intent. They're like nitro and glycerin. Harmless by themselves, but mix them together and they're explosive.